my breakfast group wants to talk about the number three, so I thought what I would do is the number three is a follow-up to what we've been doing on the number two. So for my take on the number three, let's look at some clock arithmetic with just three numbers. So the numbers zero, one, and two, let's do circle addition and circle multiplication. So I'm going to say zero plus zero is zero, zero plus one is one, zero plus two is two, right? So zero plus one is one, zero plus two is two, and then one plus zero, so one plus zero is going to be one, and then two plus zero will be two. 1 plus 1, so I'll go down here, 1, and then one more, I get the 2. 1 plus 2 would be 3 normally, but I have 1 plus 1, 2, I get back to 0. But I would be thinking 3, so I'm just going to say 0 right there. Every time I get to 3, it's the same as 0 because I start over again. 1 plus 2 is 3, so I'll put down a 0. And 2 plus 2, let's see, I'll go 1 2, and then 2 more, 1, 2, I end up over here at 1. Normally I would think of that as 4, but I write down 1. Okay, so there is my circle addition table for this clock arithmetic for 0, 1, and 2. Let's do multiplication. 0 times 0 is 0, 0 times 1 is 0, 0 times 2 is 0. 1 times 0 is 0, 2 times 0 is 0. So every time I multiply by 0, I still get 0. 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 2 normally would be 4, but in circle arithmetic, clock arithmetic, I think of that as the number 1. Okay, so here's my circle addition, circle multiplication for this clock arithmetic with the numbers 0, 1, 0, 1, and 3, okay. How about 0, 1, and 2? Okay, so 0, 1, and 2, sorry I messed that up. 0, 1, and 2 under this definition for circle addition and this definition for circle multiplication. So that's just kind of a follow-up using a set with three numbers and these new kinds of definitions for addition and multiplication. Now, just in case you're a math major, you're taking some math classes and uh, you're looking at this video, I want to point out this. This set right here with these two operations form what we call in mathematics a field. And a field is something, a set with two operations like this that have these properties. Closure, you never leave the set. We never leave the set under these two operations. Identity, zero and one. Zero preser preserves identities under addition and one preserves identities under multiplication. Every number has an inverse. Every number has a way to get back to the identity 0 and 1. There's a commutative property. A circle plus B is B circle plus A. It works for that circle addition and circle multiplication. The associative property holds, and there's a distributive property that holds. So if you have a set with these two operations like this that has that satisfies these properties right here, you have what we call a field in mathematics. Now, this is one, the real numbers under regular addition and multiplication, that's another field. There's all kinds of fields. A field is a set with two operations for combining numbers two at a time that do these things right here. So, mathematics, we think of this, this is just kind of fun for us trying to do a different kind of addition of that. But if you're a mathematics major, something like that, you've come across a very big category in mathematics that a lot of different <clears throat> sets and operations fall under.